Hi, I kind of wish I talked about this last time, but it's never too late. How to find mean, median, and mode from a histogram. For example, suppose we have this histogram, bang, number of siblings. We've done a study, how many people have no other siblings, one other sibling, two other siblings, and so on. This is the histogram. How do we know mean, median, and mode? Well, mode is the easiest. Mode is one because it's the highest. Whatever is most common, that is the mode. What else do we have? We have uh, median. Median is kind of easy. We need to count. The, uh, the number of people in this study is what? Well, let me use a different color. How many people said zero? Uh, eight people said zero. How many people said one? Eleven people said one. And then four people said two, and two people said three, and one person said five, and one person said eight. I'm reading this off of the chart. There's eight, there's eleven, there's four, there's two, and these two are one. Anyway, you add these all up, and you see that there's a total of 19, 23, 25, 26, 27. The number of people is 27. So the median is half of that, right? Half of 27, half of 27 is what? 13 and a half. Well, that's cool, because that means that 13, that means it's the 14th person. When you have an odd number, the median isn't a single number. When you have an even number of people or whatever uh, uh, pieces of data, you have two things in the middle. So 13.5. The 14th person has 13 above them and 13 below them. Great. Where's the 13th person? Well, they're sort of already in order here because we have... <coughs> Where's the 14th person? Well, here's our one, two, three, four, five, six, eight people. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This is the 14th person. So that is, you see that there are 14 people less than that person. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you ordered these people from least number of siblings to greatest number of siblings, there'd be eight people in a row, all with zero. And then there'd be nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. There'd be five more people with one sibling. The 14th person has one sibling. And then after that, you have... Anyway, it should count up again. One, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There you go. This person right there has thirteen people to the right, thirteen people to the left. So the median is also one. It's the value. It's the value. What color can I possibly use? It's the value of that fourteenth person. Wolf. Now, mean. Mean requires adding up all of their values. And that is going to be done by, well, let's see, if I said, what's the total number of siblings of all these people? Well, we've got eight people who say zero. So you have eight times zero. We have 11 people who say one. So together, all 19 of those people together are going to have 11 siblings. The eight people who have no siblings and the 11 people who have one sibling. Now these four people all have two siblings. <clears throat> so that's a total of eight siblings among these people. And these two, these four people have two. And these th two people have three. And this one person has five. And this one person has, I should probably make this more clear. Eight people say zero, 11 people say one, four people say two, two people say three, one person says five, and one person says eight. And if we add these all up, we get zero plus 11 plus eight plus six plus five 
plus the 8 is 1925, 38. So 38 total siblings among, what, 27 people? So the mean is 38 divided by 27, which can't be reduced, but could be done with a calculator. 38 divided by 27 is 1.4. So what do we do? We say, what is the mode? The most common number of siblings is 1. What is the median? Well, if you put all 27 of these people in the row, 13 have less than 1, 13 have more than 1. So 1 is the median. And the mean is 1.4 if you add up all of their siblings. And this is sort of the trick to, to realize that in this particular case, there are 1, 2, 3, 4 people, each one giving the value of 2 for a total of 8 siblings. And that's probably enough for that.